Is it time for peak Hoka to be back as anime? Jesus Christ gonna do some crazy shit as we enter the steeple chase arc. Or are we gonna stall and yap and have another episode of setup? Let's begin today's reaction. Steeple chase. Only summer vision. No blind spots. <laughs> oh, hello, Onisama! <laughs> I was fucking terrified. What the fuck? He just showed up out of nowhere. Hello. <laughs> that was more funny than anything. Oh. Ohio. Oh, the brother was fine with them. The sister was like actually crying. Baldi Ninja! Is he gonna do something finally? I want him to actually get involved in the plot. Or did she go like that? Because a lady should not be blurting out there? Or did she actually like leak something by saying that? Which implies that her identity hasn't been exposed and she's a bad spy if she does that. I don't know. Oh, was it just to be quiet? Maybe. She did kind of yell a little bit. First day of the competition, alright! Let's get into it! Uh, but it really doesn't really- all this doesn't really matter, bro. Oh my, I just realized something. Holy shit. You know in Season 1, during the tournaments, the hype shit was all the shit at the very end, right? With Onisama doing fucking this, you know, the 1v1s. But like before that, remember what we did? How many rounds of fucking surfing did we see? How many rounds of fucking pillar break did we see? I swear to motherfucking god, dude. If they delay the steeple chase to like the last episode or two while just farming and fucking padding and stalling with these, oh my fuck. Fucking god, I'm gonna lose it. I just realized, like, the tournament arc just starting doesn't mean I'm gonna get steeplechase. We got all this garbage to go through. Oh my, shooting the place, that's right, doing little ribbon things. The girls are like floating in air. Get that shit out of my face! Give me steeplechase! Maybe I'm being a little bit too mean. We'll, we'll let him cook. Rowan gun, maybe it's fun. They took out the surfing event for Rowan Gun, I think? Oh yeah, this is the event that replaced it. One person navigate, the other person shoots. Alright. It's just basically navigating the core, trying to get as many targets as you want. Woo! Very nice, Emmy. That's the way they should do these. Just quick and fast, right? You you put some hype music. Not really a PowerPoint slide, but in, a, in like a... What's the word? Like a... Uh, like 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 a mashup, not a mashup, not a like a training. Or whenever something training or happen, montage, like a montage way. Put hype song, fucking play me some scenes. Done. I saw Pixie. Hi. Pixie's there. Who is this kid? I don't remember. Anyways, Pixie, you still there? We're looking for parasites. Potential parasites. I guess they kind of did merge the two competitions into one, right? Because that was the surfing plus the the shooting one together. Because like, yeah, because there was like a snipe kind of thing. So they're being efficient with it. They realized that no one gave a fuck about those events. And they got a lot of complaints. So they decided, all right, we'll merge it into one this time. Right? It's like 1v1. You try to protect and destroy the other enemy pillars. Oh, Miyuki, what you doing? Yeah? Miyuki is very cold. She's gonna cuddle in bed. Does she gaslight it? Wait, wait, wait. Are you really? He didn't ask for this shit. He is sleeping fine. Oh no, I'm cold. Are you cold, Onisama? I think he's cold. I'm gonna get in the bed now. <laughs> Do it. Does this actually matter? Wait, 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 the body being cold, because like last episode, even now, the bet lines under his eyes, like Onisama, I think, has been prepped to be super tired and fatigued to Stark. That seems to be the direction that they're going, right? Last episode, there were some circles in his eyes, right? But like, 
Are they trying to point that Onisama is a little bit nerfed this arc because he's so fatigued? Therefore, during the steeple chase, he'll be going into it in a nerf state, but then the power fantasy will be, despite being nerfed, he still pops off kind of deal. And the lack of body temperature here, I think, is because of fatigue. Uh. <laughs> He fucking knew! He was just faking it! He just waited until she fell so he can sneak out and then... Yuki. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's the Crimson Prince. Steeple Chase. Are the ones that are being brought in from overseas and the people, the group that and Maya wants to frame the blame onto, I think, right? I think that's what Aunt Maya was saying last episode. Expedited access to the military from the school. There's some collusion? This <laughs> Bro's not even listening to Crimson Prince anymore. He's like, alright, start yapping. I'm gonna fucking start monologuing. If the situation gets any more complicated, I have to turn this table with all my might, which I am so down for. Please do this. I hope the situation gets more complicated, man. Onisama, pop off! I've been waiting, bro! Just this... Materia Basto? Materia Basto? Or Oyotsuba? Yeah! <laughs> but he's not gonna do it, right? If he does this, then like, I'm dropping this show. What the fuck? We've been waiting for steeple chase. You fucking yap for six fucking episodes, bro. No shot. Don't you fucking dare nuke this shit. No, I need steeple chase. We've been waiting. He can blow it up at the very end. Just give me hype first. <laughs> look at each other. He's still talking. Bro, turn around and even like, look at him. Look how... He's like, ain't no way I'm fucking listening to him, bro. So, Miyuki is gonna be the scapegoat? Wait, what did he say? He, Miyuki's gonna be the scapegoat. Crimson Prince talking to a brick wall right now. That's what Aunt Maya wants it to happen. Blame the hardliners. Did he really? Listen. I mean, he's probably so talented that he was able to fucking do the monologue and listen intently the entire time. Uncharacteristically wavering. You could see a little bit more about how the fatigue is getting onto Onisama. He's even getting very irritable, which is nice. I kind of want him to be pushed to the brink of his limits and then to just pop off. It kind of means feels mean, but like, I want to see that type of Onisama too. Maybe cracking under the pressure. Maybe. Yeah, this is the shield thing, right? You basically just do shield on shield to knock each other out. Which one is this? This is great. Montage way, don't waste an entire fucking 10 minutes or half the episode for one event. Yeah, just skip it. Just fucking skip it. Yeah, they even did a dual pillar break too on top of that to make it even more efficient, bro. Oh, thank God. Of all the supporting characters, Shizuku is still my favorite character. Honoka was mad funny in season 2 though. The whole pixie thing, like, that shit was actually funny. Honoka has grown to me a lot more. In season 1, I fucking hated her. Because she was such a little pick-me, bro. It's like, oh, Onisama. It's like, what? You just call him Onisama in your brother? But she won my favor in season 2. Shizuku's been fucking hard caring for me, though, of the size supporting characters. But then... What does that really mean? Is Mayumi a size supporting character? She is. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Of the quote-unquote jobbers here, Shizuku is my favorite? I don't know. She's great. I like Shizuku. Oh, Pixie. 16 parasites. Miyuki knows. Miyuki knows. She got that gut feeling. Do something crazy, bro. Maturity to Basto! Oh. Oh, 
But we gotta do this though. What do you mean? Miyuki. Oh, wait. What is this ice? Wait. It's shameless thoughts. They've been happening since season one. Let's get real. Reprimanded. She needs to be punished. I thought we were going to use Miyuki as a scapegoat. Wasn't that what he said? Okay, speak selfishly, Miyuki. Let's, let's hear it, shameful! Fuck these other students? Really? Miyuki! I mean... Hmm. Hmm. Onisama's trying to do the greater good by trying to save everybody. Miyuki's just straight up saying, this is not worth your time. And you're just, I don't know, you're getting too tired. Just stay with me. Just protect me. What should we do, guys? Hmm. Should we not? Like, should we? Don't we have some kind of, do we, why do we have the responsibility? It's because I feel like Onisama has all these powers. So I'm just like assuming he should be the one to be the hero to burden all the responsibilities but does he really need to i don't think so hmm. yeah, especially not those cunts that's staring at you like me onisama just look at me that is true but lunar magical cutis i will stop you Yo! What, dude, this soundtrack right now happening in the background is so fucking beautiful. Dude, this soundtrack has been cooking through the entire monologue, the, 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 the conversation, and the piano happening. The eyes. Seal my eyes. Because I know about the whole sealing thing. You remember in like episode one when in like Miyuki like released Onisama seal. And then in season two, the seal got put back, I think, in order to fight Lina or something so Miyuki would have more power. Yo, this part is so good. And then she can't use magic anymore if she seals him. She's right, man. Part of me just feels like she's just fucking upset that when Isama is hanging around with these other fucking girls instead of, you know, Miyuki. It's like, yeah, fuck Shizuku. Fuck this girl. Fuck Honoka. Fuck Achan. Yeah, this scene is so good. Break. I need the name of the soundtrack. This is godlike. All the fatigue is gone. No more lines under his eyes. And the bangs are not casting a shadow over his eyes. That's been shown multiple times to, you know, show that Munisama's, you know, you know, about to break. Alright, only some snap back to reality. Wholesome, normal sibling moment in anime. Yeah, let's go back to our room and warm each other up, because I'm fucking cold now, Miyuki. <laughs> now, what she's saying, potentially there could be consequences if other people are getting hurt because we did not take precautionary measures. Ah, I don't know how this is gonna work, man. Are we gonna regret this? Mm, Miyuki is a selfish, immoral young lady after all. I mean, I mean... Let's just go back to bed. That entire soundtrack playing during that scene, like, wow. That shit was great. <laughs> yeah, you had a good night. Yeah, he looks refreshed. All it took was one night with Miyuki. What did they do? Fifth day of competition. Oh, thank fucking God we skipped all this bullshit girls in bed. <laughs> I'm so mean to these girls in bed. I'm just triggered from season one when they stall so fucking long with these events and then gave us only some versus Crimson Prince, but they're doing a great job with the pacing. Sorry, she's not Mizuki. Mizuki is the big titty spirit girl. <laughs> she's a cool looking over. <laughs> All right, we're doing great. That's not fair. Okay, this is crazy, because remember? 
last season, the significance of flying magic that only Miyuki had, well, everyone else like, couldn't even compete. And then we're like, all right, give everyone there. Like, the idea that you could fly magic was already insane. This bitch fucking teleporting! It's like beyond flying, and nobody's gonna be able to compete! Ah! Holy. <laughs> Eighth day of the competition. I can't tell. I think it is. Is that George? No. Shippo versus? I mean, like, Shippo can't really compare with Kuruba, right? Like, oh, I feel bad. Like, yeah. And like, that's kind of funny how he got beat by another person who usually engages in like um, combo attacks with their like sister, right? Because like, yeah, yeah, the Saigusa twins, they do the combo shit too. But like, this kid too, you know, the Kurubas, they also do the combo shit too. And he gets fucked by both. Outmatched, outclassed, outskilled, outcrossdressed. It's this event again. I guess oh, oh, Horu got clutched there. She did it for only some perfect streak. I'm very happy. Tatsu,僕はまあそんなものだけど、そっちのお嬢さんは君に。やはりあのメッセージは勝利からのものでしたか。Wonder if she's still seeing Erika's brother. Remember in season one when they were kind of like had a thing going on? I wonder if that's still happening or not. Or is that season two? Right? えっと、確かしい話でもありませんでした。まず、対第。次にこれを利用して駆動券が。みたいだけど。では亡命法術師の利用を決めたのも。オンコルイズディヤングクドだ。ディペトリアークワズカナスヌーピングイントゥ、
Wait, that conversation. He said everything up to that ceiling spell was one single controlling spell. Therefore, Baldi, is this evil intent? I can't tell. What kind of magic is he using right now? She can't reject. She has to tell the truth. What the fuck is ninjutsu, really? Like, I'm sure there's like a scientific explanation in this show for what ninjutsu could be, but like, what? Is this some kind of like ancient magic? Like, you know, with the spirits and the talismans and shit too? Something like a variant of it? It just points and then there's like steam coming up. Sure, yo, you looking real scary. <laughs> she fall from the ground? <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing it for, you know, Katsuya. General Kazuma! To let him figure it out himself? Oh. Okay. Pure thoughts. That's right. Just like Honoka's pure intentions. What is it? Then... All the students here. Ha! Wait! Wait, 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 I thought it'd be as simple as the parasite to be contained to this fucking dolls and we just take them out and it's easy, only someone will do it, but there's a potential here that other parasites, they will possess the pure intentions of all the students at this tournament. This is an outcome that I didn't anticipate, did Kuro anticipate this? So you're saying, so I think it was the right call to give Tatsu that combat suit so that he can just fucking execute his fellow students that's been possessed by- No, this is the technical technique to extract the parasites, right? We, 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 we can like extract it, we know how to capture it, right? So like, they just simply didn't even know about this possibility with the parasites because Kudo, the Patriot, because like, they don't know all the fucking research we did in season two because this shit was talked about in season two, right? Yeah, exactly. When a body's killed by a parasite, if it's destroyed, right? Then it will just swap a body. That's why the whole thing with Lena trying to do that shit was dumb. That's why Onisama had to figure out a different way to contain and destroy the source of the parasite. Miyuki can do it too. Lunar Kokyutas, that's all fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but like, the Kuro and everyone else behind this project of Steeplechase, they're not aware of this possibility. Right? Kuro wouldn't do this if he knew this. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I forget. Shu Kokin. Mr. Ninja versus Shu Kokin. He didn't answer. Does he know? What if it's like an apprentice or something? I was kind of shit talking Mr. Ninja the entire time, saying he hasn't done shit. He hasn't done shit. And the things that I want to see him do is like fighting beyond, you know, sparring with Tatsuya. But this right here, holy shit, what a fucking flex, bro. What a fucking flex in the military called their bullshit out in order to protect Tatsuya. Mr. Ninja guy, he's, he's fucking goaded. I like him. Get! Tatsuya was listening! Yo, he was! And that's another episode of Mahoka. Goddamn, today's episode? It was good. There was yapping. Good yapping. Oh man, and I'm very happy, you know, the concerns that I raised about the different events that made Pat some fucking couple episodes, and then we get the steeplechase, you know, the, the final episode, that would've been sad, but no. They did a great thing of combining different events and doing like a montage so that we get rid of the, the quote-unquote fodder events so we can focus on the main meat of the tournament arc, which is gonna be the steeplechase. So, today's episode, there's two highlights for sure. Miyuki being selfish and then basically stopping Onisama from going anywhere else. That was a great moment. The soundtrack that played was fucking beautiful. Miyuki's entire conversation about being selfish, you know, being an immoral young lady. I don't know, I'm just memeing around, but that was a great moment. And the second part is definitely Mr. Ninja, whose name I should have fucking reckoned, you know, memorized. I'm not showing enough respect for this guy. This dude, bro. What was this? Some Buddhism fucking ninjutsu? He can like make her tell all the truth. He figured out the plot immediately. This dude is so fucking smart. And Onisama knew, right? Nin uh, Onisama was, you know, kind of eavesdropping the entire time. So, oh, good. Okay, this is good. So, what we didn't know, or at least what Kudo doesn't seem to know, the people that's organizing this, is how a parasite 
kind of operates. If you if you destroy the body, then it's gonna find a different host. And there's a lot of different students here that could get fucked up from this. So this is gonna be interesting in how we kind of like maintain the damage once we start fighting the parasite dolls and. Also, there, there's there's so many different elements coming in, right? There's the fucking hardliners that's been set up by, you know, the Mr. Chinese tea guy and, and, and like, Yotsuba's plan and the parasite dolls and all these other students here. I don't know. It's going to be fucking crazy. But next couple episodes, I'm hoping it's going to just continue on this, this rise to peak Hoka again. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.